coming up on today's episode of Airborne Uncrewed. Volt Aero urges standardization of EU aviation regulations. Applied Aeronautics and Cambium to collaborate on hardened Albatross drone. And Marine Corps to acquire eight General Atomics MQ-9A drones. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Uncrewed program, a weekly news program covering all things uncrewed, in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Uncrewed Vehicle Systems International. Let's get into today's stories. Volt Aero urges standardization of EU aviation regulations. Volt Aero, in an effort that is likely to have an impact on the uncrewed vehicle community, has called for increased coordination, standardization, and recognition among Europe's airworthiness authorities. The call followed the forced postponement of planned demonstration flights of the company's Casio-1 electric hybrid aircraft in the Netherlands. Differences in French and Dutch regulations pertaining to the registration and certification of aircraft precipitated the cancellation of the demo flights, which were intended to promote sustainable regional air travel and commerce under the auspices Power Up, an initiative of the Netherlands' four main regional airports that seeks to facilitate and stimulate the introduction of electric regional air mobility throughout the Dutch territories. Dutch regulations stipulate that only aircraft registered in the European Civil Aircraft Registry are allowed to operate in Dutch airspace. In France, experimental aircraft such as Casio 1 are traditionally not registered as normal aircraft. Notwithstanding documentation from the French DGAC Civil Airworthiness Authority establishing the Casio 1 status as a legal aircraft in France, Dutch regulators refuse to allow the airplane to fly in their country's airspace. Volt Aero says it remains fully ready to bring Casio 1 for the demonstration flights once the aircraft is accepted by the Netherlands. Coming up after the break, Vertical Aerospace announces Flying Group Agreement. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. In the next Uncrewed Minute, let's take a look at some shorter stories making the rounds of the uncrewed vehicle communities. Vertical Aerospace announces Flying Group Agreement. Vertical Aerospace has announced that Flying Group, the European charter operator and broker of business aircraft, has conditionally pre-ordered up to 50 of its VX4 aircraft. The VX-4 is a piloted eVTOL aircraft ostensibly capable of transporting four passengers and a pilot 100 miles at speeds of up to 200 miles per hour. The VX-4 is intended to operate from confined urban locations and is, according to the manufacturer, safer and 100 times quieter than a conventional helicopter. Whisk Aero plans Commonwealth displays of its eVTOL Cora aircraft. Whisk Aero, the California-based advanced air mobility joint venture undertaken by Boeing and Kitty Hawk Corporation, is hosting public displays of its fifth-generation electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft in the United Kingdom and Australia. Dubbed Cora, Whisk's display aircraft embodies the culmination of a developmental process that began in 2010 and has seen the company progress from simple, hover-only prototypes to the fielding of the world's first autonomous all-electric air taxi. SpaceX undeterred after launch pad mishap. SpaceX's Starship program suffered an apparent explosion of the reusable space vehicle's super heavy booster during tests at the company's Starbase facility in Boca Chica, Texas. 
A fire occurred while SpaceX engineers were testing the booster's Raptor engines, all 33 of them. Regrettably, the fire spread, ultimately triggering an explosion of the booster assembly. The incident is likely attributable to a malfunction in one or more of the rocket's highly sophisticated, immensely powerful Raptor engines. Drone competition pits man against machine. The University of Zurich hosted a trio of champion human drone racers as they squared off against a number of autonomous racing quad rotor drones developed by Professor David Scaramuza's Robotics and Perception Group. One year ago, autonomous racing quad rotors from Scaramuza's Robotics and Perception Group prevailed in a contest against the world's best drone pilots. This year, a rematch will pit drone speedsters Thomas Bitmata, Alex Vanover, and Marvin Chopper against similar machines, albeit with a few key rule changes enacted to level the playing field, as it were. Well, that was our Uncrewed Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Applied Aeronautics and Cambium to collaborate on hardened Albatross drone. Cambium, the California-based U.S. defense contractor specializing in hardening electronic and digital technologies for use on battlefields or similarly hazardous environments, has partnered with Applied Aeronautics, the Texas-based manufacturer of the Albatross, an affordable, modular, long-range drone system for purpose of designing, manufacturing, and commercializing low-cost, high-production-rate, enhanced survivability Group 1, 2, and 3 unmanned aerial systems for defense and commercial customers. Engineered with emphasis on durability and customization, the new drones will be hardened against laser attack, sustained heat and fire, and feature flexible launch and recovery systems and rapid in-field deployment. Applied Aeronautics and Cambium assert the ruggedized aircraft resultant of their partnership will reliably serve U.S. and NATO forces, even in surge deployment scenarios, as well as customers in the renewable energy, oil and gas, and wildfire fighting businesses. What's more, the new drones are to be manufactured in the United States from domestically sourced materials and components. Applied Aeronautics co-founder and CEO Ryan Johnston said of the partnership, quote, Cambium has assembled a highly skilled team from aerospace, military R&D, and biotech. We look forward to augmenting and expanding our UAS offerings through this partnership and are confident that together we'll bring to market products well-suited for complex missions in austere environments, end quote. After these messages, Marine Corps to acquire eight General Atomics MQ-9A drones. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at aviationsafetyresources.com. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit flyskyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Marine Corps to acquire eight General Atomics MQ-9A drones. General Atomics Aeronautical Systems Incorporated, the San Diego-based American Energy and Defense Corporation, has been awarded a contract for eight of its MQ-9A extended range unmanned aircraft systems, known colloquially as Reaper or Predator B, as part of the U.S. Navy's ARES Indefinite Delivery Indefinite Quantity contract. General Atomics anticipates subsequent awards for ground control systems, spare parts, and ground support equipment germane to the eight MQ-9A drones, which collectively represent the first increment of the Marine Air Ground Task Force's unmanned expeditionary program. The Aerial Reconfigurable Embedded System program is a DARPA initiative to develop unmanned systems capable of bypassing ground threats and delivering cargo and other essential services to personnel, primarily warfighters, in difficult-to-reach areas. General Atomics will begin delivery of the MQ-9A ER aircraft and corresponding support equipment in the fourth quarter of 2022, 
to facilitate a 2023 stand-up of the U.S. Marine Corps' Marine Unmanned Aerial Vehicle Squadron 3, located at Marine Corps Air Station in Kaneohe Bay, Hawaii. The new VMU-3 squadron will operate the drones in support of the Marine Littoral Regiment under the auspices of the Marine Corps' Force Design 2030 efforts. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.